All right, we're talking about surface area of prisms and cylinders today. Surface area of prisms and cylinders. Now, where the book goes from here is they go surface area. We do more surface area on Monday. Then we go to volume for a couple days, and then chapter 10 is done. All right, so they're just going to flip back and forth between surface area and volume and the four main shapes, prism, cylinders today, pyramid, and sphere, I think on Monday, and then they'll come back to the volume of these two, then the volume of the other two. That's where we're going. All right. Definition. Definition of surface area to start the notes. The sum of the area of the faces of a polyhedron. The sum of the area of the faces of a polyhedron. The sum of the area of the faces Polyhedron. Next thing we give you is the formulas. Now, there's actually two different ways to find surface areas of these shapes. For looking at the prism, we've got the first option, which is the long one. I could find the area of this, and the area of this, and the area of this and the area of this, and the area of this, and the area of that, and add them all together. That's the long way out. Right, there's a formula we can use to find the area that should be much simpler. The formula is 2b plus ph, which is what's written on the board at the bottom of that column. 2b plus, two, uh, 2B plus ph. 2b plus ph. And here's what those things mean. Capital B is the area of the base. So the base, if it's standing like this, the area would be this square looking piece here. From the sides of the rectangles. P is the perimeter of that same base. And H is the height of the whole prism. The directions say down there, to find the area of the base and multiply by 2 then find the perimeter of the same base and multiply it by the height of the whole figure. And then add the results together. Find the area of the base and multiply by 2. Then find the perimeter of the same base and multiply it by the height of the whole figure. Add the results together. I won't lie when I say that prism is definitely the harder of the two today. It's not necessarily that difficult, but it's the more difficult of the two things we're looking at today. Now, cylinder, on the other hand, cylinder, you really don't have to do much work. It's just plug, chug, find the result. Formula for surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r eight. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Pi is, of course, going to equal 3.14, which we had already this week. r is going to be the radius, the distance from the center to the edge on the circular part. And then h is the height of the entire cylinder. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the examples here. Across the top of the board are all prism examples. Across the bottom of the board are all cylinder examples. All right, we'll start with example one here. We're finding the surface area of that prism. I guess if we're looking at it from this one, even though this isn't perfect, all right, the prism would be laying down like this. Oh, no, sorry. Prism would be like that. Sorry. So, three components to the formula for area of a prism. Right, first thing you have to find is the area of the base. The base would, of course, be this part, the part it's laying on. Right, so if we're trying to find the area of the base, I would do the length by the width. Well, as you can see in this drawing, that's the three and the four. Three times four. 
equals 12. Next component is the perimeter of the same base. Remember, the perimeter is when you add up the four sides. So if this piece is three, this piece also has to be three, so that's six. If this piece is four, this piece also has to be four, so that's eight. So you've got six and eight, six and eight make 14. Thing you've got, the last thing is the height. We're talking about the height of the entire prism. That's the number we haven't touched yet. That would be the side here. That's going to be the seven inch number. So the height is seven. So based on the formula, I need B, I need P, I need H. I have everything I need so I can plug in here now and find my result. Again, it's 2B plus PH. So that's 2 times 12 plus 14 times 7. 2 times 12, 2 times 12 is going to give me 24. 14 times 7 is going to give me 98. And when I add those two together, I get 122. That would be inches squared, and that's the entire surface area. Again, I will—you will not get any argument from me that prism is the more difficult of the two today. All right? That's definitely a truth here. All right? It's going to take some use to getting used to this formula. Yes, it will be something you'll see on the quiz in the final. All right. Let's go to example two. Example two is a different type of prism. It's a triangular prism. <coughs> This is something you might have run into yesterday. Remember, triangular refers to the base. So like if they said it was an octagonal prism, that means these sides would be octagons. Okay, but here, it's triangle. Now, remember, in a prism, the sides are rectangles. So these are the sides. So these have to be the bases. Right? The bases cannot be the rectangle pieces when it's something like this. So this has to be the base. So let's start with the base here. Now the base, this is where this gets confusing. Because you're finding the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is one half 